The girl raised her eyes to look at you, with an expression and a helpless gaze acknowledging defeat. I admit defeat, but the medicine, I've been professionally trained. You won't achieve anything. Her words sounded confident when spoken, not knowing what you would do next. You simply looked at her, smiling and agreeing. That's right. Immediately, you used the sword in your hand, swiftly slashing at an incredibly fast speed, cutting through the rope tying the girl's hands. She was caught off guard, her eyes widening. You played with the sword like a toy, cutting the rope without fear of injuring your hand, saying, if that's the case, tying you up has no value. I'll take your weapons. I still have to deal with Kameda. The girl, incredulous, couldn't believe what you were saying. You, you're letting me go just like that, without asking anything. Hearing her, you genuinely wanted to ask a question. I have only one question, provided it doesn't harm you. How can you abandon the pursuit of me? Though verbally expressing the desire for her not to die, deep down, you didn't want her to die, for a rather absurd reason. If she dies... I can't collect the reward. The girl, moved by your words, blushed with a mixture of embarrassment and appreciation. You, on the other hand, stood with crossed arms, continuously observing her. The girl, feeling self-conscious, turned her face away, deliberately using her hand to cover her blushing face, saying, Why is he treating me so well, even giving me a magatama? Couldn't it be? And then, another idealized image of your romantic interest was born. The girl's favorability increased by 10%. Later, you opened the driver's seat door, and when you settled in, the door slammed shut. As you prepared to drive away, the girl approached you, wanting to say something. Wait, why are you going to find Kamita alone like this? Hearing that, you were puzzled. Why not? If I can't get any information from you, I'll have to ask another assassin. Right. Clearly, you were using a soft binding technique to emotionally manipulate the girl. Hearing your words, the girl, with a horrified expression, turned pale. Afraid that you might face danger, she spilled all the information to you. Kameda is at the seaside villa number two, in the town of Hivishi Atami. Despite sending a large number of assassins to kill you, there are still eight gunmen and six ninjas in the villa. Hearing the girl's sincere explanation and the warning about the danger, you responded appreciatively. Very detailed. Thank you. Concerned, the girl stumbled over her words anxiously. I, I just want you to know, going alone is like delivering yourself to death. The girl closed her eyes, recalling the ruthless old man Kameda, causing her to tremble uncontrollably. Her face turned pale with fear, feeling like a mere ant in his hands, subject to his whims. Kameda is extremely ruthless, whether it's towards his targets or his subordinates. I really want to escape, but the rules of the Sato clan are very strict. Upon hearing this, you immediately placed your hand on the girl's shoulder to comfort her. Don't worry, now I'll negotiate with Kamita. Trust the conditions I propose, and he'll agree. The girl, who had never been treated so gently before, felt a newfound tenderness. But upon meeting you, she discovered what true emotion was. She looked at your hand on her shoulder, and her face blushed. You, with a cold expression and a sinister gaze, warned the girl. Find a place to hide and stay low. Seeing your demeanor, it seems that old man Kamita won't be at ease with you. The car accelerated, speeding away, leaving the girl standing behind as if awaiting her tragic fate. The girl touched the spot where you had just touched moments ago, feeling the lingering warmth somewhere. This sensation was most evident in the girl's heart. Her face blushed, carrying an irresistible sweetness, like that of a young girl experiencing the first hints of love. Kim Taehyung. Why does everything he does go beyond my expectations? I've never met anyone like him. The girl's favorable impression increased by another 20%. Just as she was savoring the feeling of her own love for you, her attitude immediately shifted to a different state. She became startled, her face turning pale. Above her head, three shadows darted swiftly. Unbeknownst to her, those three shadows were three Sato clan ninjas. Landing around the girl, one of them spoke into a communicator. The target has escaped through the east gate of the embassy. Send people after her. Saito Ashuka failed the mission. Suspicion of betrayal from within. The communicator echoed. Bring her back here. The girl was now excessively terrified. She couldn't believe her eyes. Mouth agape. Face turning pale. Accompanied by sweat pouring down like rain. The scene shifted to another location at night. An island in the middle of the sea. 
Atop the island was an opulent mansion, with several boats constantly shining lights to see if there were any targets approaching to assassinate the old man, Kamita. Old man Kamita stood in front of a large glass door, holding a walkie-talkie in his hand. He's disappeared. The response on the other side came. We thought he would come here. So we ambushed along the route. But he switched to another road. We found his car. But he's no longer in it. Enraged old Kamita cursed into the walkie-talkie. Useless. If it's useless, do it yourself, old man. Capturing someone now and cursing useless, despicable. Dispatch all the ninjas from the embassy to search thoroughly for me. The girl was now tied to a chair, both hands tightly bound with ropes, and her body covered in electrical wires. After making the call, old Kamita looked over. This old man was also truly malevolent. Old Kamita approached, grabbed the girl's hair, and by looking at her expression, one could sense his extreme malevolence. Old Kamita interrogated, speak, where has Kim Tae-young gone? The exhausted girl replied, I don't know, I really don't know. His master took away all my weapons and didn't share any plans with me. Old Kamita pressed a remote control, increasing the intensity. Do you think I'll believe that? He will release you unharmed like this. The girl was shocked by the high-intensity electric shock and her entire body convulsed as she let out a loud cry. Ah, ah. after the electric current subsided, the girl trembled and slumped down. Her face reflected the pain and suffering she endured, covered in sweat, accompanied by helpless gasps. Old Kamita twisted the girl's face, threateningly saying, I have many effective interrogation methods, but I won't use them on you. Do you know why? Because I have to ensure that your flawless body has no injuries so that I can sell it at a good price. This old man was truly sinister. The girl, with her face twisted in discomfort, begged, please, don't. Suddenly, there was a warning from outside. Old Kamita heard it and quickly turned around to see what was happening. Outside, a voice shouted, We're under attack, only one person. Don't know where he infiltrated from. Old Kamita looked down from the door. Inside the walkie-talkie, there was a report on the current battle situation. He killed several of our people, using ninja weapons. Old Kamita affirmed, It must be Kim Tae-hyung. Immediately, he ordered, Turn on all headlights. Ninja team, move out. Footsteps rushed away rapidly. He soared up, using the two swords from the girl, to slash across the neck of a bodyguard preparing to use a gun. A headlight was turned on right where he was standing. Looking at him, it seemed as if he was receiving an award. Target identified. He can't escape. These people were overly confident. Six Sato clan ninjas saw him and flew up into the sky. All six approached him. Each of them used shurikens straight at him. They targeted him, but hitting him was just wishful thinking. He quickly dodged all the shurikens from the ninja group. Then, he jumped high above the mountain peak. Without hesitation, he leaped into the sea. The ninja group also did not hesitate. Each of them jumped after him. On this side, an announcement came through the walkie-talkie. The target has jumped into the sea. Our ninjas are following him down. Old Kameda, upon hearing this, revealed a pleased expression, exuding immense confidence. Hemph, thinking that jumping into the sea can escape. These six ninjas are elite members of the Sato clan, and their underwater assassination skills are formidable. Kim Tae-young, you're probably dead. On the other side, he was sinking into the sea, and the six ninjas were swiftly closing in on him with the fastest speed possible. A ninja, holding a shuriken in hand, swiftly approached him, even underwater. The ninja intended to stab him, just a little more and he could have been killed beneath the water. However, the ninja couldn't anticipate that he would disappear in an instant. Right after, he reappeared behind the ninja, mysteriously holding a sword to the ninja's throat with a cold expression and sharp eyes. This left the ninja in disbelief. The ninja's face was now filled with utmost terror. He showed no mercy, slashing a sword across the neck, ending the ninja's life right beneath the water. At this point, he regained his momentum swiftly swimming like a fish accelerating in water. A smile appeared on his face, along with a determined look in his eyes. The five ninjas above signaled each other skillfully with their hands. He swims too fast, don't disperse, gather in one place. The five ninjas regrouped in the middle of the vast ocean. He continued to dart back and forth with incredible speed, like a predator preparing to strike its prey. The five ninjas, witnessing his swimming speed, couldn't help but marvel. Too fast, this is the speed that a human can achieve. 
he swiftly moved underwater, his eyes looking at the five ninjas, as if he was eyeing his delicious and fat prey. On the surface, I truly can't compete with you all, but underwater, you can't use your techniques, and your speed is not as fast as mine. It seems that these are all things you predicted beforehand, relying on your quick-witted mind. I have about ten more minutes. I need to kill you before time runs out. Suddenly, while swimming, you notice that the water here is quite polluted. The sea of the China VIP kingdom is not clean at all. I wonder how long it takes for the sea to become toxic. I have to win this battle quickly. He swiftly darted past the five ninja. They cautiously held their swords in front of them to minimize potential damage from him. One of the ninjas couldn't endure it anymore. His face turned pale due to the lack of oxygen underwater. Unable to bear it, he quickly swam to the surface to find some air. Seeing him leaving the formation, he couldn't miss this opportunity, immediately chasing after him. The remaining ninjas, witnessing their formation breaking, became astonished. He rapidly approached the escaping ninja, without hesitation, struck a blow, ending the ninja's life. The other four ninjas couldn't contain themselves any longer. Each one lacked oxygen to the point of turning pale. They hurriedly rushed to the surface to replenish their oxygen. We can't endure it any longer. We have to surface and breathe. Looking down, he realized he still showed no signs of lacking oxygen underwater. Moreover, his speed increased even more, making these ninja think. He's not human anymore. He must have been possessed by a sea spirit. He's definitely not human. He's been swimming for three minutes. So why doesn't he need oxygen? These ninja, struggling with both the lack of oxygen and being pursued by him, were truly in misery. Meanwhile, at the old man Kameda, he held the communicator, facing the large door. In his mind, a question arose. The gunfire has stopped. Kameda thought the end of gunfire meant he had been killed, and he couldn't help but feel joyous, bursting into laughter like a madman. Ha ha ha, truly foolish, to confront me alone. It's a pity I can't witness the desperate expression on his face as he approaches death. This old man was quite a character, laughing today and tomorrow being laughed at. On the other side, the girl didn't hear any more sounds, and seeing Kameda laugh, she thought he was dead. Her face became filled with pain, not just for his fate, but also for the uncertain and drifting life she was leading. In the quiet night, she called out his name, Kim Taekyung. Kameda held a red vial in his hand, saying, the nuisance has been taken care of, so now it's time for. He looked at the girl, while his other hand incessantly stroked his beard displaying a creepy expression on his ugly face. Terrified, the girl exclaimed, No. Kameda squeezed the girl's face to open her mouth, dropping a red liquid into it. At this point, she had no strength to resist, and her fate was sealed by Kameda. With a creepy expression resembling that of an old perverted goat, he muttered, Wait until I get bored. I'll sell you to another country. As for the Sato family, all I have to do is say you failed the mission, got killed by Kim Taehyung and the Sato family won't care about a discarded commodity like you. The helpless girl faced her unjust fate. She raised her head, closed her eyes in resignation, and two streams of tears rolled down her beautiful face. When Kim Taehyung said those words, I truly believed he could change my destiny. Her tears fell to the ground. With no one left to salvage her life, she could only implore the divine, hoping for a miraculous intervention. Oh, divine being, if there's a miracle, Please let it happen now. The girl had just finished pleading when Kamita, with his creepy expression, leaned in close. One of his hands touched her face, and the other seemed to play mischievously. This world has no divine beings, but I can take you to paradise. His words extinguished the girl's last flicker of hope. As he was about to proceed with his actions, a voice interrupted, but I can send you straight to hell. This statement startled Kamita in fear. Emerging from the shadows, right at the window, was the tall figure of Kim Taehyung. His face exuded unwavering determination. The girl, seeing that he was not dead and had come to rescue her, felt immense joy. Her eyes welled up with tears, and her blushing face called out, Kim Taehyung. In the direst moment, the sight of her potential savior caused her favorable impression to skyrocket by 50%. Taehyung looked at the girl, who was now smiling warmly, and repeatedly apologized. Sorry for being late. Those ninjas were quite persistent. Hearing what Taehyung said, Kamita couldn't believe his eyes, quickly grabbing the walkie-talkie to check. How is that possible? Before Kamita could press the button on the walkie-talkie, 
Taehyung swiftly threw a shuriken right at the lower forearm of Kameda, causing him pain, and making him throw the walkie-talkie away, while shouting loudly, Ah! Taehyung, agile and decisive, quickly lunged forward, forcefully driving his knee into Kameda's abdomen, causing him to spew blood. Taehyung enlightened Kameda about the current situation. Apologies to your fighters. They are still clueless on the surface, guarding against the ninja underwater. Kamita, writhing in pain, couldn't endure it and collapsed onto the floor, assuming a kneeling position, drooling and moaning in agony. Aha! Taehyung cautioned him. You better stay quiet. Don't disturb others. Moving behind the girl, Taehyung used his sword to cut the ropes binding her. Kamita, trembling, crawled under the floor, slowly getting up, then turned to question Taehyung. Why? How is it even possible that you're still alive? Taehyung, nonchalant, responded with the truth, probably because of my excellent swimming skills. He embraced the girl, helping her stand, using his body as support. The girl's face turned blush, breathing heavily, possibly due to the red liquid the old man had given her earlier. Taehyung gently handed the sword to the girl, inquiring, Do you want to handle him yourself? Hearing Taehyung's question to the girl, the old Kameda, now aware of fear, quickly kneeled on the ground, begging the girl. If she didn't want something terrible to happen, it was best not to act at the moment. He repeatedly apologized, pleading for forgiveness. Please, I was wrong. I apologize, I'm sorry, please spare me. But given the old man's actions, forgiveness seemed unlikely. The girl used her hand to open the lid of the vial containing the red liquid from earlier approaching and pouring the entire content into the old Kameda's mouth without any mercy. After forcing him to drink the entire vial, she disgustingly dropped the vial to the ground. As they left, they couldn't help but look at the old man with contempt. Killing him with a sword might be too easy. This vial was enough to make him die a gruesome death. After having the vial poured into his mouth, the old Kameda relentlessly clawed at his throat, vomiting red fluid rapidly onto the surface, the canoe speeding away. The two sat on the canoe, returning to the mainland, leaving the island of death behind. On the canoe, Taehyung couldn't help shivering at the sight of that vial. Chap, chap, chap. This medicine is truly terrifying. The girl sitting on the boat continuously gasped, holding on to Taehyung's hand, her face turning red as if affected by the drug. Sensing the girl's unusual behavior, Taehyung turned his head to ask, What's wrong? Kameda just forced me to drink that thing. The girl rushed forward, using her two hands to grip his neck, pressing herself against him. I'm sorry. I can't resist it anymore. Perplexed, Taehyung asked. What? Next, whatever happens will happen. Feel free to speculate, my friends. The boat sways aimlessly on the boundless sea, and the sky is gradually brightening. The sun is rising to welcome a new day. You sit back on the boat in a relaxed state. In your arms is the girl who, after a tiresome night, has fallen asleep until morning. Holding the girl and admiring the beautiful sunrise, it's truly a moment of enjoyment. At this moment, the girl wakes up, suddenly recalling many things that make her feel sad. Kameda is dead. The mission for my master has failed, and I have to return to the Sato house to face punishment. You gently console her, as if advising her. Don't be a ninja anymore. Live and die peacefully. It's not good for a young girl like you to live in constant danger. Hearing your words, her eyes become teary, but I don't know what else I can do. We are ninjas, all orphans adopted by the Sato family from a young age, rigorously trained from childhood. Being a ninja is our only destiny. You pay no attention to what she says, immediately pulling out the VIP black card, illuminating the sky like a beacon. You handed the card to the girl, scratching your head while looking at her with a playful expression. You wanted to give her an opportunity. If you don't know what you want to do, then go explore. Here, there's a billion dollars, and you could slowly find what you want to do, become the person you want to be. From now on, live for yourself. Upon hearing these words from you, the girl's face turned bright red, tears streaming down her beautiful and delicate face. Thank you, Kim Taehyung. Her favorability increased by an additional 45%, and Sato Asuka reached 90%. Having completed the first stage of the beautiful sea scene, the girl couldn't contain her emotions and rushed into a tight embrace. The system rewarded, spent one billion years of rehearsal for Sato Asuka, refunding 10% of 150 million yuan, 
already transferred to your personal account. Attribute Reward, currently at level 4. Choose one of the three skills within the allowed time. Mastering Piano Skill, Grade A. Mastering Hand Dance Skill, Grade D. Mastering Somersault Skill, Grade D. In the city, the announcement echoed throughout. President Kameda Kento of the Kameda Corporation passed away last night in his mansion. According to witnesses, the crime scene is extremely horrifying, to the point that the descriptions are blurred. His security guards also suffered casualties, with preliminary speculation pointing to a ninja assassination, suspected to be the work of a rival tycoon. Large containers holding floral products were carefully packed and loaded onto the ship. Human High Kyo departed, and the embassy of the Floral Nation saw you off. The ambassador grasped your hands with a cheerful face, saying, Fortunately, Kameda Kadio is no more, and both of you can return home safely. Once again, thank you for the dedication you shown to the Floral Nation. You politely responded, Thank you to the embassy for protecting us. Kameda's actions have consequences. After the farewell, everyone familiar to you and Haikyo in Japan slowly boarded the plane. The matter has been satisfactorily resolved. Unfortunately, there aren't many opportunities to visit the China VIP kingdom for leisure, like soaking in hot water. Upon hearing this, Haikyo added, Next time, come again in the form of a literary exchange. You felt that was acceptable, saying, Sure. The two of you boarded the plane and flew back to the Floral Nation. The airplane soared high in the sky. Below, the girl watched the plane you were on. At this moment, she looked incredibly beautiful, with a charming smile that captivated everyone. She reached up and swept away her hair, revealing that beautiful face. Kim tae Young, wait for me to finish some personal matters. Then, I'll come to the Floral Nation to find you, because it seems I've found the purpose of my life. By now, you and Haikyo had safely returned to your home country. Upon arriving at the gate, Haikyo instructed everyone to move the literary products down and arrange them safely. Be careful. These are precious literary products. Suddenly, you were startled, realizing something was happening. The system appeared. Countdown to choose one of three skills, 16 minutes and 23 seconds. Master the piano skill at level A. Master the hand dance skill at level D. Master the six senses skill at level D. You scratched your head almost forgetting this important matter, almost forgot such an important thing. I was so focused on comforting Sato Ahsoka. You stood with crossed arms, examining the skills. What are the other two skills? Let's choose the piano skill. It seems useful. After making your choice, the system displayed. Selected mastery of the piano skill at level A. Now musical notes related to the piano continuously flowed into your mind. Although you had experienced this three times, you were still amazed. Amazing, a large amount of piano-related knowledge flowing into my mind. You were deeply focused when you heard someone calling your name, Kim tae Young. Turning around to see who it was, you found Shin Hai, looking beautiful in an alluring dress and holding the bag you had given her. I've come to pick you up. Any surprises, she said, smiling. You looked at Shin Hai and replied, no wonder you asked me when I would return to the country. You're truly considerate. Shin Hai hurried over, touching you with both hands, her face blushing. I missed you. Taking advantage of your lack of defense, Shin Hai planted a sweet kiss on your cheek, welcoming you back to the country and surprising you. After the kiss, her face was even redder than before. Shin Hai swept her hair aside, looking at you affectionately. I'll take you to eat first, and then we can go check out the house. I've selected a 90-square-meter one for about 1.5 million. Hearing Shin Hai's words, you suddenly remembered, right, buying a house. You excitedly displayed a playful attitude, gripping her hand tightly. Only 1.5 million? That's not enough. We need to get something more expensive. Your words surprised Shin Hai a bit. Now both of you left together. Buying a house can cost a lot of money. Is Park Shin Hai's favorability now 95%? I wonder what it will be like when it reaches 100%, you remarked. You draped your arm around Shin Hai, saying, Let's go. At that moment, Shin Hai noticed, The said and I ordered is here. As you and Shin Hai were leaving, Hai Kyo turned around and called out to you, Kim Tae Young, where are you going? Hearing Hai Kyo's question, you startled. You explained, Oh, that's, I'm with friends. By the time you looked back, Shin Hai was nowhere to be found. 
you were bewildered, asking, Ha, huh, where is she? Shin Hai was blending into the crowd ahead, calling a taxi. Hai Kyo, blushing and beautiful, looked at you and said, Is your friend here to pick you up? You two must be good friends. A significant misunderstanding. While you were standing there, Hai Kyo took the initiative to give you a peck on the cheek. You, embarrassed, tried to explain, Um, that. But Hai Kyo's actions left you astonished. After the kiss, she lowered her head and said, This trip to the VIP Kingdom of China has been tough for you, facing danger like this. Just as she finished speaking, Hai Kyo shyly ran off, saying, Now, let me take care of organizing these documents. You blushed, sweating with your thoughts. Um, does this count as an indirect kiss? Shin Hai in the taxi waved to you, Kim Taehyung, get in the car. You scratched your head and mumbled, I managed to avoid a conflict in this lifetime. You took Shin Hai to a luxurious and renowned real estate agency, standing before the opulent Haimich Pool Villa. Shin Hai couldn't help but exclaim in awe at the wealth it exuded. Here it is, Haimich Pool Villa. As they stepped inside, Shin Hai, witnessing the grandeur, was so amazed that she gasped, her mouth agape, and had to cover it with her hand. Kim Taehyung, you, you, without much surprise or awe, found it quite ordinary. Yeah, I asked the friend you introduced me to take a look here. Before coming, you had inquired about the princes and hares in the group chat. They enthusiastically provided directions. Chairman Jion wants to buy the most expensive villa. Go to my Heimish Pool Villa. Power Max Number 1 is the most suitable for Chairman Jun's status. You and Shin Hai walked through the waiting hall. Observing the surroundings, Shin Hai, based on the information she had heard, commented, but I heard even the cheapest villa here cost at least 100 million. The real estate saleswoman noticed the arrival of the two guests and greeted them with a joyful smile. Sir, miss, hello, how may I assist you both? Upon hearing the saleswoman's greeting, you straightforwardly expressed your intentions. I want to see Power Max number one. The saleswoman, upon hearing your request, had a disdainful thought. Oh, another group of people coming here to film the live stream. So annoying. Just pass them on to another colleague. The saleswoman probably didn't know that her thoughts had cost her a substantial commission. Despite thinking so, she maintained a professional demeanor to pass the clients on to someone else. Yes, sir, this is the sales representative for Power Max Dragon Number 1. Please wait a moment. You can preview the design board for Power Max Number 1. Afterward, Shin Hai and you approached to examine the model of Power Max Dragon that you wanted to purchase. Shin Hai, after inspecting, exclaimed, Kim Taehyung, this Power Max number one is priced at 300 million. Isn't that too expensive? The saleswoman turned away, calling another staff member to assist the two of you. Hearing Shin Hai's remark, she displayed a face of disdain. You, upon hearing Shin Hai's comment, put on a handsome face with your radiant skin and said to her, Shin Hai, this is your first house. I don't want to give a half hearted gift, if I'm going to gift. It has to be the most expensive. Upon hearing your words, Shin Hai was touched, tears welling up in her eyes. Kim Taehyung, her favorability increased by an additional 3%, bringing Park Shin Hai's current favorability to 98%. You noticing Shin Hai's favorability approaching its highest mark, couldn't help but feel joyous and self-satisfied. Oh ha ha ha, I'm strong, making money and increasing favorability at the same time. You were the happiest, truly the happiest. While enjoying ourselves, the sound of two pairs of footsteps, one belonging to a man and the other to a woman, approached. A portly man, adorned in the ostentatious style typical of the wealthy elite, with a condescending gaze, carried a bag brimming with money, gold chains around his neck, a designer belt, and expensive red leather shoes. By his side, he had a girl, somewhat attractive, with curves in all the right places, but it was uncertain whether her demeanor matched her appearance. Upon entering, the portly man flaunted his wealth, exclaiming, Today, I'm taking her to see the luxurious Power Max number one. The girl beside him, delighted, praised the plump man, saying, Chairman Cha, you're so impressive. Do you want to buy that condo? In response, the portly man was not committal. It's not certain. If it can please me, buying it would be a spontaneous decision. Indeed, he spoke with an unceasing flow of lies, as he approached and laid his handbag on the table, glancing over to the guy. 
Did your brother also buy a mansion? Without waiting for an answer, Shin Hai enthusiastically showed a photo to him. Oh my, Kim Taeyong, look at this balcony and pool. It's expensive, but truly beautiful. Seeing Shin Hai so satisfied, he couldn't help but break into a cheerful smile. You were happily enjoying yourself when two annoying individuals without eyes or ears appeared. The portly man arrogantly crossed his arms, his face exuding disdain. Coincidentally, the younger brother is also eyeing Power Max number one. The girl accompanying the portly man chimed in with a mocking laugh. Ha ha. Seeing this, you and Shin Hai felt a bit uncomfortable. You feigned foolishness and spoke. I'm also here for Power Max number one, so that's quite a coincidence. Shin Hai holding a book, wore a slightly serious and annoyed expression. Apologies, but we've already decided to buy Power Max number one. You two could check out Power Max number two or three directly. Upon hearing this, the portly man lowered his glasses to get a better look at your face, chuckling mockingly. Is that so? The younger brother is still so young, unexpectedly already a billionaire. In that case, we naturally have to yield to the two of you. Let's confirm with Duvi. The woman hiding behind the portly man then revealed her face. Of course, although we want to buy it, let's consider it a gift of friendship. After saying that, you didn't care much, feeling a bit uncomfortable, and went to ask a store employee, excuse me, which way to the restroom? The employee pointed towards the restroom, go in this direction, and turn right. Shin Hai stood there, observing the house, finding the portly man detestable, disliking him, she grunted in frustration. At this moment, in the men's restroom, you were right by the sink, washing your hands after finishing your business. You thought the portly man would stay behind to inspect the house without causing any more trouble. But to your surprise, he followed you all the way to the restroom. This portly man seemed like a sky-high level of weird. He cheerfully opened the restroom door. You noticed someone entering and glanced to see who it was. Unexpectedly, the portly man approached the sink, turned around, leaned against the sink's edge, and took a cigarette from his pocket saying, when your brother charges forward, you have to follow suit, right? While you were washing your hands, you heard the suggestive words from the portly man, leaving you puzzled. He lit the cigarette, and smoke billowed up, filling the restroom. He turned to look at you mockingly. Your girlfriend is quite feisty. I can see you can't control her. Ah, so he had his eye on Shin Hai. Indeed, an old bull likes to chew on young grass. Confused, you asked with an uncomfortable expression. What do you mean that I don't quite understand? At this point, he exhaled smoke through his nostrils, pointed to himself with one hand while the other hand held the cigarette, pointing it at you as he winked. You're pretending to be a wealthy person so convincingly. I just have to worry about what your fate will be shortly. Look at me. The newly rich must play their part flawlessly. Sylvie was a fake and enjoyed putting on airs. Having just heard that, you feigned astonishment, breaking into a sweat, and muttered, Oh. Truly, I'd grown up, and I'd never encountered a situation like this before. The portly man draped his arm around you and revealed his scheme. I find you quite appealing, so I'll generously share some free tips with you. Come, take a look at the keys to my Porsche and Lamborghini. He spoke while pulling out a few keys to show you. Observing this, you looked at the portly man. These are keys to expensive cars. After you said that, he burst into laughter. Then he raised his hand revealing it was just a key-shaped lighter. Ha 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 ha. These are all props I use. Do he, the girl outside, happened to spot my Lamborghini key, so I easily lured her into holding it. Afterward, the portly man stood swaying and placed his hand on her shoulder. Your appearance, you can't intimidate anyone with that. A wealthy person must dress like one. Just by looking, one can tell you're a newcomer. He continued to boast with a proud expression, leaving you feeling helpless. I also deceived Doohee, saying I was going to buy a mansion. Seeing you expressing interest, I immediately borrowed this story to appear on the stage, portraying an emerging wealthy individual without financial constraints, happily expanding established relationships. Isn't that quite skillful? That's adapting to the situation. There's much for you to learn, my friend. By the way, I have a 30-day crash course on sale for 998 yuan, whether it's a beautiful woman or a mistress. Both can be easily lured. Soon, coordinate with me so that you have a reason not to buy this mansion anymore. Indeed, an honest and foolish portly man. Outside, Shin Hai was still attentively examining the house with an extremely joyful expression. Seeing Du He looking bored, she also glanced over. 
Du Yi's gaze immediately fell onto Shin Hai's bag, and she sarcastically crossed her arms, looking down on it. Your handmade bag looks quite authentic. Hearing this, Shin Hai's face became irritated. This is genuine, purchased from the Herman store. The other girl stubbornly refused to believe, even flipping her hair with her hand. Little sister, don't misunderstand, I'm not your enemy. Our goals are the same. It's just that you're too inferior to recognize people. Perplexed by Du Yi's words, Shin Hai asked, What goal do I have? Du Yi replied with a proud expression, feigning elegance to catch a wealthy man. Shin Hai, in disbelief, exclaimed, You. Ignoring her disbelief, Du Yi continued to emphasize the core of her story. Can't you see it? Du Yi proudly displayed her sparkling bag. My level is very high. I was able to hook Chairman Cha. The newly rich spend lavishly. This genuine channel bag was also bought by him. Each costs 120,000. Oh, unfortunately to tell you, your wealthy boyfriend is fake. Talks the talk but doesn't walk the walk. Claims to have a certain demeanor but lacks it. Truly don't know why you fell for him. These two were indeed quite foolish and naive. The girl patted Shin Hai on the shoulder but said, It's okay. In a little while, I'll expose his true face for you, and you can easily discard him. Hearing this, Shin Hai felt helpless. Thank you for your concern. I think Kim Taehyung is really nice. After Shin Hai spoke, the girl held Shin Hai's hands and comforted her. Little sister, you're being too stubborn. Wait a bit, and I'll introduce you to the high society group in Seoul. Buying designer bags, joining afternoon tea meetings, you'll find it all there. I guarantee you can step into the upper class within a week. While she was speaking, you and the portly man also came out from the restroom. Shin Hai saw this and looked over. The more I look, the more I like Power Max number one. Without hesitation, you turn to the staff with a confident air. Hello, I want to buy Power Max number one. Please proceed with the paperwork for me now. Upon hearing you, both the staff and the portly man were astonished. The staff asked again, Oh, don't you want to take a look inside first? You declined, and the staff immediately got to work. All right, I'll get everything ready right away. Both scammers had a common goal, to deceive the other person. Now, one wanted to help you break free, and the other wanted to expose the truth. Come here, look here, little brother, I'll help you break free. Come here, look, little sister, I'll reveal the true face of this fake wealthy man for you. You swipe the black VIP card through the cash register. Announcing. Transaction successful. 300 million. Extremely generous, you pointed at Shin Hai, expressing your intention to gift her a 300 million worth house. The official name of this house. Let it be under the name of this young lady. Upon hearing this, Shin Hai felt elated, her heart filled with joy, immersed in a rosy dream with you. She clasped her hands to her face, continuously fantasizing. A 300 million mansion is mine with Kim Taehyung. On the other side, the two scammers fell apart. Even the female staff member wore a shocked expression. All three exclaimed in unison, What? The orange-haired staff member bent down, ushering the two to Power Max number one. Please follow me this way. I'll take you to Power Max number one. The two individuals who had earlier deceived others now found themselves shattered. The tables had turned, and even the female staff member wore a shocked expression. All three echoed in disbelief. What? The orange-haired staff member, who had played along with the deception, bowed and escorted the two to Power Max number one. The mansion area was incredibly luxurious and splendid, and no words could truly capture its vastness and opulence. The staff member handed the key to Power Max Dragon number one to you, saying, Mr. Taehyung, here is your key. From now on, you were the owner of Power Max number one. You reached out to take it, saying, thank you. At this moment, the gatekeeper was extremely drowsy, sinking into sleep in a perfectly upright position. It was unclear how many years of training it took to master this skill. As he slept, the sound of approaching footsteps woke him abruptly. The gatekeeper quickly stood up ready and alert. Using his staff to block your way, he said, Whoever doesn't have business with Power Max number one is not allowed to enter. Before he could finish his sentence, a foot landed squarely on the gatekeeper's face, and a voice declared, I have business here. It turned out to be Chairman Ah. He stood as if he had just finished a martial arts move, kicked the gatekeeper, and then casually dusted off his hands, saying, Ha, luckily I arrived just in time. 
I knew the situation would turn out like this. This old man understood the plot twists calmly written by the author. Yu and Shin Hai, looking at Chairman Ah, were sweating profusely, not knowing what to say. After all, the two of you walked shoulder to shoulder into the luxurious Power Max No. 1. Chairman Ah didn't forget to wave from behind, saying, I won't disturb Chairman Jian. Enjoy your new home and beautiful lady. Best wishes for both of you. Outside is already glamorous, but unexpectedly, the inside is even more magnificent. It looks like a grand and majestic palace, with male and female servants standing, waiting for the owner. Oh my God, there's even a row of expensive wines. Outside, there's also a luxurious and spacious swimming pool, crystal clear blue water, and a private gym. Shin Hai couldn't help but exclaim, Oh my God, it's so luxurious. Yet the two of them even strolled into the bathroom. You looked around, saying, the bathroom is so spacious, enough for ten people. Moreover, next to the bathroom is a sauna room. Since entering the bathroom, Shin Hai's face suddenly turned bright red. At this moment, the water suddenly turned on. Hearing the sound of water, you quickly turned back to see what had happened. Unexpectedly, the water from the shower had wet all of Shin Hai's clothes. Shin Hai explained, carelessly bumped into the switch. Suddenly, your eyes stumbled upon an inappropriate place. Then let's take a hot bath. Don't leave it cold. You turned away, saying, I'll go buy new clothes. But unexpectedly, Shin Hai pulled you back, blushing. She said, don't go. This villa is too big, and I'm a bit scared being alone. Having said that, what comes will come. After a while, the system echoed with the sound of notifications. Congratulations, host. You have successfully completed an exercise, obtaining the first 100% effort achievement and the submissive relationship of Park Shin Hai and the master has changed. From now on, she will be wholehearted and never betray. Spending 300 million for the exercise, refunding 30 million, rewarding an additional level of full attributes. You can choose any level B skill now. Do you want to make a choice now? You looked up, your eyes sparkling. Successful exercise. You happily clenched your fist. Wholehearted and never betray. It means that even if she knows about the other women, she won't be jealous or reduce her goodwill. So there's no more competition. Embracing from the left and hoving from the right is no longer just a dream. Fantastic. Oh my God, I said it shamelessly. The next day, Jisoo also woke up, yawning short and long. Shin Hai at this time, still dreamy, staggered back to the dorm from outside. Seeing this, Jisoo was surprised and asked, Shin Hai, where did you go last night? Shin Hai crawled onto the bed. I'm exhausted. You open my post yourself. Hearing that, Jisoo picked up her phone and opened it with a worried expression. Unexpectedly, Shin Hai posted a picture on her friend's circle about the new house on the new bed with you. And they were holding hands, not forgetting to add the caption. There are words of love by the mouth, light on the face, love in the head, the side there is. You know what it means. Seeing the post, Jisoo couldn't help but tremble with anger. You, he's Kim Taehyung. Shin Hai lay on the bed, yawning. Within her, there seemed to be exhaustion after a long day of activity. In this world, apart from Kim Taehyung, I don't see anyone else. Conveniently, let me clarify. He bought that villa for me. It's our home. Hearing this, Jisoo immediately put on a disdainful expression, mocking Shin Hai. Shin Hai, don't complicate things. You guys don't have any emotional foundation. Kim Tae Young could just be playing around. Don't dive too deep. But Shin Hai didn't bother with Jisoo's words. She turned towards the wall, her gaze gradually becoming distant, but still responded to Jisoo. Thank you for the reminder, but my love for Kim Tae Young has reached a point you can't comprehend. Even if other women throw themselves at him, I won't be jealous because Kim Tae Young knows that I will be with him forever. Hearing this, Jisoo couldn't believe it. She never expected Shin Hai to be so obsessed. You are crazy. But Jisoo's words were like the wind blowing through the clouds to Shin Hai. No more words. Last night, Kim Tae Young was so considerate, I could hardly move my limbs. I support you to continue clinging to Kim Tae Young, if you can. Hearing that, Jisoo on the other side of the bed became astonished. Jisoo was extremely angry, continuously biting her nails, displaying an anxious look, as if fearing something. In her heart, she couldn't help but blame. This woman acts so arrogantly. My previous plan wasn't perfect enough. 
This time, Kim Taehyung will definitely sense that I and these despicable people are completely different. In the following days, a series of messages were sent to him, but he remained indifferent to the point of not caring, sleeping soundly. Moreover, even when sleeping, he had the bad habit of drooling. He heard the continuous buzzing of text messages, and at this point, he woke up. However, his eyes remained unfocused. It turned out many people had messaged him early in the morning. What's going on so early? Unexpectedly, it was a barrage of messages from various people. First was Park Shin Hai. My love, today is your birthday. Let's go out for a meal and watch a movie. Next was Kim Hin Jisoo. Happy birthday. I really want to personally say these words to you. Can we meet on the bridge by the sparkling lake at school? The Seoul Prince and Princess Group. Each of them also sent birthday wishes. Chairman Jun, have a happy birthday. Lastly, Yang Pyong Yoon. Kim Taehyung, happy birthday. Luckily, Park Young Woo mentioned it in the group. Or else, I wouldn't have known. You are my major shareholder. Not inviting you to a meal would be unacceptable. When he read dozens of birthday wishes, he couldn't help but be moved. Tears welled up and he joyfully looked at his phone, saying, Oh, I even forgot my own birthday. I've never had any girl wish me a happy birthday before. After being touched, he quickly composed a reply. Thank you. I'm really touched. But I already made plans with my roommates to go out for a meal today. So next time, okay. After sending the message, his attitude did a 180-degree turn. He threw the phone in his hand and continued to sniffle, his eyes like those of a dead fish. What a joke. Dealing with so many girls in one day, it's annoying to death. I'm not some time management guru. As he looked down, he saw his three roommates all dressed neatly. Hey guys. The guy with glasses holding a phone looked up, smiled at him, and said, Kim Tae Young, today is your birthday, and we invite you to have a meal tonight. Hearing that, he agreed. Then I won't be a stranger anymore. After that, his two roommates looked at each other and laughed sinisterly. Then, he stood in front of a large building looking extremely awkward. Seeing this, he could only scratch his head in confusion. Those three guys invited me to eat in such a luxurious hotel. He awkwardly held his phone while entering the luxurious restaurant. I've been here once before with Yang Yun and Jin Gu, and the other two were sitting on the third floor. On the third floor, he was happily taking a selfie to send to his three roommates. He, taking a picture to inform them. At this moment, a girl walked over, and he messaged the room group. I'm at the entrance of the third floor restaurant. Have you guys arrived? While texting joyfully, the girl immediately turned to accuse him. Why did you secretly take a picture of me? Delete immediately. Apologize to me. He was confused when he heard that. Ha, huh, I didn't secretly take a picture of you. The girl with an ugly face smirked. Every guy who takes a secret picture says the same thing. Afterward, the ugly girl pointed straight at his face. Do you think I'm stupid? I'll count to three. If you don't delete it, I'll call the police. The girl's words made the server on the other side evaluate him. The ugly girl even stood in the crowd and spoke loudly, indeed troublesome. I may just look a bit extraordinary, but wherever I go, there's always a creepy guy taking secret photos. This ugly girl indeed had some delusions about her own beauty. Her words caught everyone's attention. He angrily handed his phone to the ugly girl to show. Ha, huh, I didn't secretly take a picture of you. In the chat log was a selfie he took capturing only the legs of a couple of girls, accompanied by a message. I'm at the entrance of the third floor store. Have you guys arrived? The ugly girl was embarrassed by him at this moment, and he straightforwardly spoke to her face. Open your eyes and look carefully at this. People around couldn't help but laugh. Everyone had to cover their mouths and laugh until their bodies trembled. Unexpectedly, Shin Hai appeared at this moment, beautiful and cheerful, coming out to greet him. Kim Taehyung, you're here. Hearing this, he turned to look, puzzled about what was happening. Shin Hai. Then, Shin Hai took his hand. Kim Taehyung, let's go inside. Hearing that, he could only follow along, scratching his head while walking. Oh, well. The girl on this side was left embarrassed, standing there with her mouth wide open, unable to utter a word. People around kept gossiping. This guy's girlfriend is so beautiful. Indeed, with such a beautiful girlfriend. How could he take secret photos of someone with cosmetic surgery like this? Ugly people like to show off. The ugly girl was furious, her face contorted with anger, fists clenched tightly. A bunch of blind people 
where can't compare with that cunning sun ho. I'm so beautiful. And yet he dared to take pictures of me. This man is really. He followed Shin Hai to a prearranged table. Puzzled, he asked, Why are you here? Where are Jin Gu and the others? Hearing that, Shin Hai explained his confusion. Today is your birthday, and they wanted to celebrate it with you, so they asked for some help. Seated at the table with Shin Hai, he quietly realized, no wonder those three could come to such a high-end restaurant. Shin Hai looked at him. When I told them, they agreed very quickly, they truly are your close friends. Now he could imagine the faces of his three roommates. Guides, our dads can only help us get here. No need to go home tonight. You understand that, right? He can only curse silently. Shin Hai took out a birthday gift for him. Kim Tae Young, have a happy birthday. See, it was a birthday gift for him. He reached out to accept it, saying, thank you. It turned out to be a luxury watch. At that moment, he couldn't help but feel. This is a good thing, but the competition is not a good thing after all. Suddenly, a familiar voice called out. Kim Tae Young and Jisoo appeared before him in an alluring dress. She quickly presented her gift and wished him a happy birthday, leaving him surprised and bewildered, not understanding what was happening. He exclaimed, Kim Hin Jisoo, while Shin Hai hurriedly stood beside him, asking, Why are you here? Jisoo approached him without hesitation, saying, Kim Tae Young, this is a versus leather belt. I think this belt suits your style. As she spoke, Jisoo pushed her gift in front of him. At this moment, Shin Hai, unwilling to be outdone, pushed her gift forward and said, Is this belt only 50,000? This gift is too cheap, Kim Tae Young, and the latest Omega watch costs 200,000. Jisoo also refused to back down, pointing to Shin Hai's watch and saying, No, not really, Park Shin Hai. Kim Tae Young has given you many gifts, and you only bought a $20,000 watch. Although my leather belt is only 50000 that's all the money I have. He sat between two arguing women, feeling tired and unable to bear it. Finally, he dismissed all the arguments and expressed a disgusted look. Take it back. I don't need your gifts. Shin Hai tried to hold back her laughter, surprised by his words. Meanwhile, Jisoo felt as if he loved her, her face blushing as she said, He tells me to return the belt, yet he spent all his money to buy me a gift. Indeed, he still loves me. Unexpectedly, Jisoo's favorability increased by another 3%, bringing Kim Hin Jisoo's current favorability to 94%. He was amazed and thought to himself, Oh, what's wrong with this woman? I rejected her gift, yet her favorability towards me increased. Jisoo unexpectedly drew closer and hugged him tightly, saying, Kim Tae Young, I genuinely like you more and more every day. Shin Hai, alarmed, shouted, What are you doing? Let him go. Nearby guests, hearing the commotion between the two women, gathered around to eavesdrop. Jisoo opened her gift box and handed it to him, saying, Kim Tae Young, you don't need to say anything. I understand everything, just like how I understand you. I remember the bunny girl outfit you mentioned before. Kim Tae Young looked at Jisoo's gift in surprise, while Shin Hai, upon seeing it, immediately scolded, Kim Hin Jisoo, why is your face so thick? Hin Jisoo shamelessly replied, So what? When you truly love someone, isn't it supposed to be like this? Nearby, a woman witnessed the tug of war between the two women for the man. She looked at them and thought to herself, Oh my, an unbelievable scene is unfolding. Two beautiful women are competing for him, and this man is caught in the middle, unable to escape. Shin Hai suddenly stood up, Han Jisoo, let's go to the restroom, shall we? The opportunistic woman who had been observing them thought to herself, a perfect chance. Entering the restroom, the two women immediately began to argue. Han Jisoo, Kim tae attitude is crystal clear. Yet you still linger around him. It's so boring. Can't you see that Kim tae is not interested? You should be the one to leave. The woman who had followed them in earlier suddenly intervened with a loud shout, Ladies, stop arguing. You're both beautiful and intelligent. Wake up. That man is clearly a scammer, both poor and ugly. He is not worthy of either of you. I'm truly speechless. Upon Shin Hai's inquiry, who are you? The woman didn't answer directly but continued passionately. All of you are high-quality ladies. Men would line up endlessly to pursue any of you. Why argue over a poor and wretched man like him? I'm truly speechless. 
We should help each other. Hein Jisoo and Shin Hai looked at her, bewildered by her words. Then, they resumed their argument for the second round. Hein Jisoo said, I remember someone saying that even if Kim Tae-young has another girl, you wouldn't be jealous. Why the sudden change? If he likes someone else, that's fine by me. But if that person is detestable. The woman who had been talking endlessly earlier was finally ignored by the two. Kim Tae-young saw the two women heading into the restroom to argue, ruining the mood for a meal. He discreetly slipped away alone, thinking, they're next to each other just to argue. No point in staying. I'll sneak out. As he was leaving, a voice called out, Kim Tae-young. He turned around, and it was Kim ji won He asked, Kim ji won why are you here? Kim Tae-young scratched his head and came up with an excuse, saying, I had plans with my roommate. Unexpectedly, those guys pulled me into their mess. Kim ji won responded cheerfully, My family dines here too. Maybe it's fate. She approached, took Kim Tae-young's hand, and said, Right, Kim Tae-young, I've sorted out all the documents. The exhibition will open in two days, and the promotion is all set. It's going great. The girl who had advised the two not to argue was now slinking out. As she reached the elevator, she caught sight of Kim Tae-young holding hands with another girl entering. Her expression seemed about to explode, thinking, It's unbelievable. This woman is even more beautiful than the previous two. Why does every beauty surround him? I'll expose that scumbag for sure. Heading down to the first floor, Kim Tae-yum asked. You said you were going to have a family dinner. Why did you suddenly come down here? I came down to pick you up. Your friend isn't a guy or a girl. Kim Ji-won smiled and replied. Hi, hey, it's a girl. We've known each other for many years. When Kim Ji-won saw them, she exclaimed. Oh, they're here. Of course, her friend and family greeted her warmly. Hi, hi, Kyo. Hi, Kyo greeted her uncle. Uncle Yang, it's been a long time. Still coming down here to pick up your family, this Kim Ji Won is quite something. Kim Ji Won extended her hand to introduce Kim Tae Yeon to her friend, but he had already left without them noticing. The girl from earlier also hurriedly descended to the lower floor, took out her phone, and snapped pictures as evidence, saying, The scumbag is smart, but I've captured it all. He's done for sure. Kim Tae Yeon sweated, thinking, The world is too small. I didn't expect Kim Ji Won and Yang Pai on you to be friends. Although they haven't defined any relationship with me, there's nothing to panic about. But the thought of them meeting and potentially arguing, like Kim Hin Jisoo and Park Shin Hai, gives me a headache. It's better to find a place to hide. Isn't this too coincidental? As he was walking, Kim tae spotted a street musician. He approached, slung his arm over the musician's shoulders, and said, Hey buddy, it's time for a shift change. The manager told me to take over. The musician looked at him in confusion. Ha! Huh, shift change. Kim tae swiftly removed the man's clothes and put them on, saying, I forgot to bring my own clothes. I'll borrow yours for a bit. I'll return them to you shortly. Seated, Kim tae spoke to the musician. That's right. The manager said if you work even for a day, you get paid for a day. The man happily left upon hearing this. Really? Thanks for covering for me. I'll be on my way. After the man left, Kim Tae-yong smugly thought to himself, This way, no one will pay attention to me. I can play a song casually, and I've successfully slipped away this time. I'm quite clever. Kim Tae-yong placed his hands on the keys, and a strange sensation rushed into his head. Like that, he played a captivating song that drew everyone's attention in the room, and all eyes were focused on him, listening intently. The girl raised her phone to record pleasantly surprised by the melody of the song. Hai Kyo and Yang Yang looked up and Hai Kyo recognized. This music is golden hour. Kim tae Young, at that moment, was immersed in his own musical world, closing his eyes to feel each note. Those present were also captivated by this irresistibly melodic tune. It reminds me of the most beautiful memories with my boyfriend. What a wonderful piece of music. Jisoo and Shin Hai, stuck in the crowd, realized... It's Kim Tae-young. I'm moved, but not by a sad tune. It's magical, like being in a flower garden. The bright light seems to carry a touch of melancholy. Both Jisoo and Shin Hai were drawn further into his music. This music is so beautiful. I didn't expect Kim Tae-young to play the guitar. At this moment, Kim Tae-young seemed to radiate, 
as the music brought back nostalgic cues. The melody reached Hai Kyo and Yang Yang, immersing them in its enchantment. Jisoo and Shin Hai were also captivated. In their imagination, Hai Kyo was gently lifted high by him, their eyes locked with deep affection. Kim Taegyum. Yang Yang transformed into a bride, walking up an elegant aisle hand in hand with him. I want to marry you. Shin Hai and he were joyfully exploring Hawaii, playfully splashing in the cool, clear waters. I can't imagine days without you. Jisoo in a highly seductive pose, the two riding a horse through the streets. I can't forget you behind me. Behind him, the four girls all looked at each other's faces, each blushing. I must be so lucky to become his. He's truly captivating, like a treasure chest, always surprising me. I really want him, just want to have him. I only want him. Wealthy, handsome, humble, responsible. A man of excellence like him, I feel completely unworthy of him. The admiration from the four girls continuously increased. Kim Ji Won gained an additional 20% admiration, making her current admiration level 74%. Yang Pyeon Yoon gained an additional 10% admiration, reaching a current admiration level of 87%. Kim Hin Jisoo gained an additional 5% admiration, bringing her current admiration level to 99%. Feeling the increasing admiration from the girls, he couldn't help but be surprised. Oh my, what's happening? Did I just charm them unintentionally? After finishing the piece, everyone applauded, praising him. People approached, expressing their admiration and some even jokingly suggesting marriage. You're handsome, and you're really talented. I could cry listening to you. What's your name? I'm a grade 9 pianist, but I'd only be like fetching your shoes. How do you practice, huh? I want to marry you. I've never heard music so beautiful. He felt awkward, muttering to himself. Oh no, now I want to be humble and not attract the attention of others. How do I gracefully retreat from this? Behind him, Hai Kyo and Yang Yang looked on in admiration. Indeed, they have noticed, and it's all because of my piano piece, that the admiration level increased. Even Kim Hin Jisoo is only 1% away from a successful maneuver. Is this situation good or bad? Two men immediately rushed in to manage the chaos. Make way a little, please. A man with blonde hair, seemingly a foreigner, stepped forward. This was Jung Ku Won, the most famous pianist in Seoul. He took off his glasses, smiling. The person who played the golden hour just now is a talent that can be trained. If you join my team, I guarantee that within a year, before the man could finish speaking, he had already run away. Everyone looked puzzled, and the man was astonished. Where did he go? At this point, he had already escaped from the restaurant, thinking to himself. Phew, luckily there was a sudden appearance of a pianist, diverting everyone's attention. Sneak away, sneak away. Thank you, unknown pianist. The girl who was about to turn around was now holding her phone and crying. My piano prince, I love him. When will I get to see him again? Hoo hoo. He glanced back at the restaurant while running, thinking they probably won't chase me all the way out here. As he ran, a voice echoed, be careful. Perplexed, he turned around just as a girl on a large motorcycle zoomed past him, causing him to scream in fear. Ah, ah, ah. Both he and the girl fell onto the road, and he worried, Oh no, I hit someone. Frantically, he ran toward the girl, asking, Are you okay? The girl lying on the motorcycle noticed him and exclaimed, Ah! Recognizing each other, they said simultaneously, It's you! He approached with concern, Are you able to get up? The girl, in pain, replied, My leg got trapped, can you lift the bike for me? But this bike is quite heavy. As he lifted it, he had to turn the bike to the other side before raising the tail. Before the girl could finish speaking, he effortlessly lifted the bike, saying, lifted it. The girl was astonished. She approached him and asked, how could you lift this 170 kilograms bike? He scratched his head and smiled. Perhaps it's because of my strength, haha. <laughs> Looking down at the girl's injured leg, he remarked, you're injured. Leaning on the bike, the girl replied, it's okay, these small wounds are common. Last time, I even broke a bone. Anyway, my profession. Hearing the girl speak like that, he couldn't help but be surprised. Oh my, you're so daring, working in such challenging conditions as a modern woman. The girl crossed her arms and conversed with him. Thanks for the ride on the yacht that time. After that, I couldn't contact you anymore.
By the way, the yak you gave me, I want to return it to you. Actually, I am. Before the girl could finish her sentence, he quickly made his escape. Use that money to contribute to children in difficult mountainous areas or those in challenging circumstances. No need for thanks, I'm a man of few possessions. Seeing this, the girl called after him. Hey! He hurriedly ran away, thinking while running, his dead fish eyes continuously sweating. This girl worked until she broke her bones. A seemingly frail and miserable girl turned out to be so strong. I need to get out of here quickly. He raised his arm, touching the muscles full of strength on his arm. He recalled the image of the girl with a horrified face when she saw him lifting a 170 kilograms heavy bike. How did you do that? That thing is heavy, around 170 kilograms. Looking at his own hand, he smiled. I don't know the current strength level of my fifth tier. I'm a bit curious. I definitely have to go to the gym tomorrow to check it out. The next day at the gym, he was outside, stepping in step by step, observing everything around. People were diligently training to lose weight. Everyone was sweating. He walked past, looking at everyone, seeing them all trying their best to lift weights at the gym. In his heart, he couldn't help but exclaim, It's early in the morning, and so many people are already exercising. It's really lively. Suddenly, he looked at a girl lifting a small dumbbell. Ah, that thing. Suddenly, a man approached, asking him, Isn't it beautiful? Hearing the loud question from an unfamiliar person, he turned his head in confusion. A muscular uncle appeared in front of him, appearing to be the gym instructor for this room. The man spoke, I can help you get her info. However, before he could respond, the man laughed loudly, as if understanding the intentions of others. Ha 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 ha, we're all men. Why pretend? Don't worry, I'll help you get her info right now. The uncle looked at the muscles on his body, patted his shoulder reassuringly, and then flexed his own powerful muscles, seemingly teasing or comforting. With this body of yours, you can't get her now. Girls who work out regularly don't like weak guys. You have to be like me. Hearing this, he laughed awkwardly. The uncle introduced himself to him. Let me introduce myself. I'm you, the coach who won the gold medal at the Olympic gym. I can customize a course for you and help you get firm muscles in three months. All it costs is 8,000 yuan. Hearing this, he quickly smiled and declined. I don't need to thank you. However, the man persisted. He raised two fingers towards him, saying, Don't refuse so quickly. I can let you try two sessions first, and you can decide later after you finish the trial. How about that? Despite the offer, he promptly declined once again, stating, I feel it's not effective. I'll stick to training with equipment. Seeing his repeated refusals, the man lost interest and turned away with an unpleasant attitude, saying, Fine, I won't talk to you anymore because I still have classes to teach. If you thought it through, you can come find me anytime. In the man's mind, he sighed. Poor thing. Too impoverished to afford private lessons and gym fees. If you won't pay to train, you'll remain weak. A while later, he approached a fitness apparatus, looking at it with confusion, scratching his head, unsure of how to use it. How do I use this thing? He wondered. In his state of confusion, a passing girl caught his attention. He turned to her and asked, Excuse me, do you know how to use this equipment? The girl, with her platinum blonde hair and well-proportioned figure, looked exceptionally beautiful. The kind-hearted girl stepped forward to adjust the equipment for him, making it easier to use. She further explained, This is a reverse bike. You have to sit here, pedal this lever, and both handles on the sides can be controlled. He, scratching his head, thanked her. Oh, I see. Thank you. At this moment, the incredibly beautiful girl looked up, although wearing a mask, her beauty was still evident. The system announced, commencing training mission. This girl is named Lee Sang Yi, 24 years old, 167 centimeters tall, weighing 49 kilograms. Favorability towards the host is 0%. Suddenly, he encountered a girl for training at the gym, surprising him. This system is amazing. It can detect the target even when wearing a mask. Does your system have X-ray vision? Hearing this, the system responded. As long as it's at close range, it can detect whether the other person has undergone plastic surgery or not. After finishing with the system, he continued to approach the machine, adjusting the weight for strength measurement, saying to himself, Well, let's try the highest weight first. As he spoke and adjusted his actions, Sang Yi was extremely amazed. 
After finishing the adjustments, he immediately climbed onto the machine to test his strength. The speed at which he performed was incredibly fast, leaving everyone around passing by in awe. Sang Yi, still trying to process what she saw, quickly turned away without forgetting to sigh. As predicted, he is a newcomer and knows nothing about these devices. Sang Yi entered the training room and greeted the trainer, the same man who had earlier invited him to enroll in the course. Glancing at Sang Yi, the trainer said, All right, let's warm up first. Sang Yi removed her hat and mask, hanging them on a hook. The trainer looked at Sang Yi's physique and thought, She looks gorgeous even with a hat and a mask. Could this girl be an artist? While Sang Yi adjusted her clothes, unaware of the scrutinizing gaze upon her, she began her workout, starting with exercises for the buttocks. The trainer, impressed, couldn't help but exclaim, not bad, squat a bit more, shift to the left a bit. Meanwhile, as Sang Yi focused on her routine, the trainer approached, a perverse thought crossing his mind. He quickly moved closer to Sang Yi, saying, push your buttocks a bit further back. Do you feel the muscles working here? While speaking, he touched Sang Yi's buttocks. This action startled Sang Yi, leaving her in shock. Moving on to the next exercise, it was the squat with legs open. The trainer was getting uncomfortably close to Sang Yi, saying, relax a bit more. I'll support your legs. Sang Yi couldn't tolerate it any longer. She stood up, pushing the trainer away, angrily scolding. Trainer, do you find your actions a bit too much? However, the trainer remained oblivious to his wrongdoing, persisting and denying. What do you mean? I'm just focusing on helping you with warm-up exercises. Are you suspecting that I'm taking advantage of you? Sang Yi's face became tense. If the next session is like this, please provide me with a different workout. I'm not comfortable sharing personal space with everyone. The trainer, hearing this, calmly agreed. Fine. I'll give you a different exercise. In his mind, the trainer harbored an intention. It seems I can't achieve that unless I make her endure a bit of pain. After deciding, he adjusted the exercises towards a different direction, mainly aiming to exhaust Sang Yi. The trainer clapped his hands, and Sang Yi had to perform exercises rapidly to the beat of his command. The trainer continuously shouted, jumping jacks for a minute, burpees for a minute, then alternate for a minute. Come on, let's add another round. Sang Yi was pushed to exhaustion, breathing heavily as she looked at the trainer with confusion. Trainer, is this intensity too high? Shouldn't training be done gradually? The trainer crossed his arms, shouting loudly, If you've paid for my class, I'll take responsibility for you. If it's not effective, your money will be wasted, and even my gold medal winning reputation will be damaged. He continued, Do you understand that attending a fitness class requires diligent training? You can't do this and you can't do that. So, what can I do for you now? Sang Yi gritted her teeth in anger. Stop the lecture and just continue. She proceeded with the following exercises at a high intensity, stating, It's just a bit tired. I've endured the coldness of the company for two years and still persevered. Finally, I got a job at the Internet University, so I need to showcase my best physique. The trainer checked his watch, smirked, and looked at Sang Yi. These exercises make me tremble uncontrollably. Even female trainers would be exhausted doing them. It would be great if you quickly admit your mistakes and accept my first course. Sang Yi, now sweating profusely, caught the trainer's eyes on her well-toned body. Enough, it's been a year. I haven't met a high-quality female student with such a figure. Well, the lamb is about to reach my plate. Haha. <laughs> Suddenly, Sang Yi collapsed on the ground. Seeing this, the trainer was extremely alarmed. Oh. Has this girl exhausted herself? Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed the content, please don't hesitate to hit the like and share buttons. Your support is a huge motivation for me to continue creating more videos. Additionally, there are many other interesting story videos on my channel, so feel free to check them out. Thank you.